Dear Certification Bodies and System Users, In this video, we provide you with a brief tutorial to the ISCC Audit Procedure System, APS. APS is an electronic tool for conducting audits and facilitating the certification process. The objective of APS is to simplify the audit preparation and to make audits more efficient. Another benefit of APS is that the impact of sustainability certification can be easily quantified. This short video provides instructions on how to use APS and about the different features within it. When starting APS, you will be directed to the first section, CB Data. APS consists of seven sections which have to be filled in one by one in order to properly create the audit questionnaire found in section questions. This will guarantee that all the questions which are not relevant for the audit are omitted. In this section, you have to fill out basic information about the certification body. Then, you can either create a new system user or import an already existing user. If a user has been imported, it will be shown in this table, and from here, it can be chosen for further processing. The following section summarizes the basic information about the system user and the scope to be audited. After completing the requested information, the master sheet can be created. The master sheet is the starting point for your audit. On the left side, you see the scope to be certified, the main audit. If sub-audits are required, here the total number of sub-audits must be indicated and then the sub-audits will appear in the table below. We have already filled in all the questions relevant to the main audit and the farm plantation sub-audit. Therefore, the green pyramid, together with the green check mark, appear. We have also completed both sub-audits, however we have not yet checked if all the questions have been answered. This check is done by clicking on the question mark. So for this sub-audit, we have answered all of the relevant questions. When all the audits, main and sub-audits, have been completed, the export icon appears and indicates that the final audit report can be printed, saved, and exported. Another great feature is the possibility to state if further audits are required for the sub-audits. If this is the case, you have the option to export and import individual sub-audits. Please note that if you are the auditor of the main audit and would like another auditor to conduct the sub-audits, you must export the whole package, meaning the main audit and the two sub-audits. By sending this exported file, for example via email, you have to inform the other auditor that they need only conduct the sub-audits. On the other hand, let's say that you are now the auditor who has to conduct the sub-audits. Once you have received the whole package as an exported APS file, it can be imported only from the section CB data. Then you choose the system user from the table and go straight to the master sheet. From here, you can start with this respective sub audit. When you have completed the sub audits, you have to export them, however, only the sub audits, and send them to the auditor conducting the main audit. In this case, the sub audits will be exported individually. When the auditor conducting the main audit receives the exported sub-audits, he or she must import them one by one from here. The auditor for the main audit has to assign the respective exported file to the respective sub-audit. It is not possible, for example, to import the farm sub-audit to the warehouse sub-audit. Now we will go through the different sections of the main audit in order to further explain the audit process. The first section includes audit-specific questions. These are the so-called descriptive questions, and based upon these, the audit questionnaire will be generated. This section contains questions relevant for both operational units, in our case, first gathering point and processing unit, followed by descriptive questions relevant only to the first gathering point, and then descriptive questions relevant only for the processing unit. Based on these questions, the audit questionnaire will be generated.
Here you find the list of questions to be verified. Above it is shown the total number of questions to be answered and the number of questions which are unanswered. We have already answered all of them. On the upper right side, you see the technical review option. The purpose of this feature is to simplify the internal communication between different auditors. This enables additional comments to be written in the text box below findings. If the technical review mode is switched off, the text box will be suppressed. If a question has been marked as non-conform, it will be listed in the section Non-Conformity List. Under the Non-Conformity section, the corrective measure must be described, as well as the date of implementation. Once you have completed the audit, you can either click on Print in order to print the final audit, or you can go back to Master Sheet and continue with one of the sub-audits. You can also print your final report from Master Sheet. As previously mentioned, once all of the audits have been completed, the large export button appears. From here, you can print, save, and export the final report. The exported APS file will be saved on your desktop, and you are now finished with your audit. We thank you for watching this video, and hope you enjoy using APS.